Day 345 of the RV build. Jason builds it, episode four. Well, you, you guys know it hasn't been 300 some days. It sure does feel like it. We have a couple things to do yet. When I say a couple, you know how that is as well. It means there's 20 things that I think I have to do, but there's 120 things I have to do. So uh, we're gonna get at it. Two days left to get this thing ready. And then we're gonna pull out and take it up to the lake and use it. It won't be 100% done, but it'll be close. It'll be close enough. So let's do it. why but while I was replacing the shower controls I didn't think about there being an access panel back behind it when I first opened this cupboard up it matched pretty well and there was some stuff in front of it so I didn't see it this makes changing the shower controls much easier I'm up on the roof and we're gonna get this this AC unit that was broken during transport we're gonna get the cover on I wanted to get them charged up both the ACs but these are our uh, 410a refrigerant which I don't have any of that so no matter they, they work okay so I'm gonna get this cover changed out and also check it and make sure there's nothing broken inside there do this herringbone wall design here in the bedroom. They got these from a place called Timber Chick. These are pretty cool. There is a story that comes along with these. They're made out of 200 year old driftwood or something. They're not cheap. It's about a 1 8 inch slat of wood and it has double sided tape on it. So as long as we wipe down the wall, it'll be pretty quick. You can just peel and stick it. But this could even be done with any type of thin wood paneling or anything. You know, just cut it up and you could use this double-sided tape. So we'll see how it turns out. This 
this is going on really easy. So this section took me maybe five minutes, and it's something anybody could do at home or anywhere else. I think this ought to take me maybe two, three hours. in the wall it's done so it took me say maybe three hours to get this done all the gaps and everything on it aren't perfect you can look really close you know, it does have some gaps to it so be about a day away from being ready to pull it up to go camping. Well, that was two days of early mornings and late nights, but the RV's done. So now we gotta hook it up and uh, air the tires up and, and hit the road. So the one thing you want to make sure you do is check your air pressure, especially after sitting for a season. These were down around 50 PSI. When they're low on pressure, they'll build more heat and you'll see a lot of tires blow out. That's likely what happened up here to this wheel well. Probably that tire blew out and blew the wheel well apart. I always go at least five pounds from max and then I, I check it throughout a trip as well. So we decided to stop at a truck wash on the way up to the lake 
because we didn't do anything to the outside of the RV uh, except for let it get dirty. But the only thing is with a truck wash is trucks are really big and they take a long while to wash it seems. And now we are stuck in the truck wash line and it seems that I had the luck of picking the worst and slowest line there is. So it looks like we'll probably be done and headed back home from a drop in the RV off at midnight, one, two o'clock. stopped the truck wash and got the RV cleaned up. It needed it so badly. It was sitting under trees for the last couple months and it was 35 bucks. I think it was the best 35 bucks I've spent in a really long time because it would have took me hours to get it clean. It's not perfect at all. I mean, I could clean it up a lot better, but man, for 35 bucks, Awesome, awesome investment. So I want to take a minute and talk about the three stages of doing a project. So you have stage one. Stage one is excitement you're so excited this is going to be the best thing ever i didn't really think i was going to get it but i i did end up winning it and then you get past that after a few weeks maybe a few months depending on how patient you are and you get to stage two stage two is a kind of resentment you're asking yourself why did i do this you resent yourself for starting that project or getting that project. You're never going to do another project again. It's the worst thing ever. You were a complete idiot and you're done. And then there's stage three. As I was driving along, taking the RV up to the lake, I was thinking to myself, man, this is just so cool. What an adventure. I can't wait to get there. Can't wait to use it next week. And then I was getting excited because I have another project and I can't wait to dig into it. That project is the international truck I've had for about 12 or 13 years. And four years ago, I had a guy disassemble it because we were modifying it. And unfortunately, he wasn't as good as what he told me he was because he tore it apart and it hasn't ran since. So I haven't had enough time to work on it. Uh, or I haven't made enough time to work on it, but starting next week, we're gonna build it. Um, again, it's an international truck. It's it's awesome, 7.3 power stroke diesel in it. Uh, it's like a four ton truck. So it'll be a real excited project. I think you guys are really gonna like it. Um, so yeah.
So we arrived at the lake. It's late, it's dark. We had enough time to put the RV up on its jacks and level it out. But that's all the time we have. We actually have to get back home because we all have work tomorrow. So I was going to do a review of the cost breakdown of, of what it costs to do all the upgrades we did to the RV and to get it ready for camping. But time wasn't on our side. So I'm not gonna do that now. I'll do it at a later date because we have a build that I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna hop on that next week and probably get back on this in a month or so. There's some more things I wanna to do to it anyway. So I'm gonna do all those things and then I'll do a cost breakdown and we'll see what we have in it and see, see what it's worth. And don't forget, like the video, like, like all the videos, watch the videos, it helps us. We have a lot of really cool builds coming up, uh, some really cool adventures. So like and subscribe. And there it is. The RV is up at the lake, parked. We're tired and going home.